All right, so it's a lazy Sunday today. Trans is still under there and whatnot. Um, I had to go and grab my gloves, but we are gonna finish up. We should be driving this thing out today. Uh, yesterday with the whole torque converter bolts stuff, like that just, terrible, terrible design in my opinion. Um, you don't buy a manual to have torque converter bolts. And when the bolts can come in from one side and just bolt right to it, why would you bolt a plate and then also bolt from the back side? Like it just doesn't make sense. I understand you need that for a torque converter, but this is not this is not an automatic. So luckily we got the flywheel on. If you guys missed yesterday's video, Liam, throw those gloves away that are on the ground. Um I left a lot of my tools here so I could do this job a lot easier. Wrenches, all that stuff. So we need to get the pressure plate on and the, the clutch disc, and we'll go from there. We'll torque that down to spec. Once that is on, we will throw this guy on, clean this up a little bit, and and pretty much it's just once the trans is in, it's just all downhill from there. So I'm going to start getting the transmission in, or getting all this stuff on, then get the transmission in, and we will go from there. Go figure, I'm about to film, and the uh, compressor comes on. So we got the trans in everything's in bolted down drive shafts on clutch everything we've got the center console in clean that up a little bit first second third fourth fifth sixth uh, I got show you guys that little washer that you need to take out I got that right here just to show you um, throw that in scrap next but we're gonna hit this tomorrow but she's all back together. All I really got to do yet is I got the battery terminals, but I got to mount this. And I'd like to zip tie some stuff out of the way. But you can see all the terminals. Everything's tight. None of that. So we'll get this closed. And then we got to get this wheel thrown on over here. That didn't close. That did not close. There we go. So we just got to get this wheel thrown back on over here. We have it stacked up on boards and whatnot. Just got to jack it up, throw it back on. We're just waiting. All right, we'll go test drive real quick. Does work. We do have gears. Liam, get in. Liam, I'll, I'll have Liam be the filmer, but like I said, we're just going to take it up the road, do a quick little test drive for you guys. See how she sounds, see how she acts. There's not much fuel in it, so we're not going far. Hold that. Towards me. He breaks off. You guys can see reverse works. It's always a good sign. Also cleaned up the center console a little bit on the, when we put it back together. First, I just wanna make sure it goes through all the gears first. Mm. Might have to put some fuel in it. The G56s generally have a lot of grunt. You can start these things out in the third gear. And mind that I'm a little dirty. I cleaned my arms up so I'm not getting anything on the truck, but. There's something. All right, here we go. inspection and we are going to do the coolant flush and then that's pretty much it things ready to go um, all those other things that I was telling you guys about with the uh, the rear pinion and the oil cooler we're gonna be doing those at a later date um,
I just want to make sure everything holds is all. And some of you guys like these drive-along videos, so. also need to check and make sure that we are not leaking any transmission fluid so that's the other reason for the test drive um, they do not make a gasket they make no gasket for it you have to use RTV second here so this drive will also will get the speed up just enough so if we see any transmission fluid on the ground we know there's a leak I've only ever had one leak and it was my truck years ago. If there was any leaks you'd be able to see it by now usually right about there no leaks so we are good which runs great just got to figure out probably put some air in the tires front and rear we'll be back for it tomorrow go we'll finish everything up we'll get hopefully that gets rid of that front end wobble all right so we are back next day i'm going to be taking this thing to go get the inspection and get some air in the tires and we are also going to get the coolant flushed so we are going to get to see a milestone from the one uh, you know almost 200,000 miles so i'm going to keep the camera on it until it goes just so that we don't miss it um some people like to see it i definitely haven't seen one in a while hey there we go so I tried to keep the camera as steady as possible and I had to make a left turn so it's like it was gonna block it but you can see if you go too far away the camera kind of makes it flash back and forth like that but there you go 200,000 miles just rolled over it like I said we got to go take this down to Monroe to go get inspected as per request and it just makes it easier to do all this stuff down there anyway air and and the uh, coolant all right sorry that uh I missed the cold start, it's fine. This is the last, I told you guys, we are going over this truck, right? We're not doing the rest till the winter, but I bought a trans. I bought a brand new trans. This will be the last drive you guys see with the old 48 RE. I gotta get this done this week. I gotta go finish up the red truck. I should have my schedule cleared, I believe, for the week. I gotta do an AC compressor on a Dakota. This will be the last drive, so somehow this transmission's still kicking. We're gonna get that taken care of, and I, I'm excited for the winter time because this thing is just gonna get an entire redo over. Also, if anybody does detailing, I think I, I think I know a guy for it, but I want to get the entire inside of this thing detailed and finish up those gauges up there. But it's coming together. All right, she's parked next to Otis. So, I told you guys how much they wanted to do a rebuild on this trans. It was about $4,000. I got a trans coming with a billet torque converter. So we gonna make some power. And then I just need to get injectors for it and fix the rust. And then this truck's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Other than the belt. I don't think that counts though, because I have the part like right there. I'm gonna go make our trip. I gotta go make some money real quick. 
Bertha's paying me 2200 bucks today. All right, so we are, we're shooting for about $242. All right, I was wrong. So this says 395. We're shooting for about 64, 65 gallons. So that's full. Why is, ooh, I never, no, I did. I don't know why that wasn't going. But yeah, we're shooting for about 65-ish gallons uh, is kind of going to be the goal on this one. Uh, about 250 bucks, which we can't look at the dollar amount because it's going to read higher anyway. We're getting it for about 378. It says 395 at the pump. See, I'm going to let that get up to uh, 65 gallons and then we're going to make our way. Covers about half a tank. Now let's get out of here. I got it on this one. If you're going to ride my ass, at least eat it first. That's hilarious. Alright, just got the trailer off of the Mega Cab. I like how light these things are. You just pick it up and move it. So we're taking the Mega Cab. Gonna go order a trans. Go take this to the shop. So you guys will see in another video, we are going to be doing the AC and pulling the entire dash out of this thing. I'm gonna Bertha over there. We're gonna pull this out. Here, Bertha's still running. And then we're gonna back. Bertha in. So I was wrong. I did say earlier would be the last start you see. Obviously it's going to get one more start. The trans won't be here for like another week. I got to get trans fluid yet and the cooler. They said replace the cooler we'll give you a five year warranty on it. I said okay but if you don't replace the cooler they don't give you any warranty on it. So I want the warranty. Bertha's AC is super cold. Love it. This it kind of, it, this kind of stuff irritates me. That was a first try door open just backing in and it lands right there. I went to go load the car trailer the other day and I swear to God it took like 10 times before I finally hit it right when the red truck was on the trailer. So I got that in one shot and that wasn't even supposed to happen. Also, I need to get me some of these. This is slick. I like that.